Welcome back to episode 38 of the Shy Sports Weekly Podcast. First episode of 2022 coming at you. How are we doing, boys? New Year, new us. Well, new Year, same bullshit, dude. Steel City. I feel How exactly the same. <laughs> well, yeah, dude, you have COVID. <laughs> Stepped yeah. into the new year the wrong way. Had it in 2021, too, so you feel the same. I get it. A spin zone, nothing but up from here. What did you guys do on uh, on New Year's Day? They say what you do on New Year's Day is what you'll do for the rest of the year. Oh, that's pretty accurate. I uh, gambled a lot. I gambled on every bowl game I could watch. Honestly, I don't think I did a damn thing. That's, oh, again, it's that's pretty spot. accurate. <laughs> yeah. So I'm already right on track. Reinforcing. Perfect. All right, what did you do for New Year's? Me? Yeah. I was in uh, Lamont, dude, at Kelsey's. Oh, yeah? Every, all of our listeners know Kelsey. I was just going to well, say. You, well, you do, and you're the one that asked. Um, <laughs> yeah, low-key, real low-key night. Thank Did you, you get silly? I had a few soda pops for sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I fucking hate New Year's. It's always like, let's go out for New Year's and spend all this money and have a terrible time. So I'm glad for the first year in fucking a long time. And the next thing you know, you're nothing. laying shirtless on the stairs with a hot dog in one hand and an empty Bud Light in the other. Hot dog in one hand and hot dog in my butt. Just... Next thing you know, you're, you're laying on the stairs naked with Bud's hot dog in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually right, right, right around the street from you. Oh, right yeah, around the corner. Go. I was at Ann's. I was, uh, I, I was wearing my Rizzo jersey. for Christmas? I need to know. This? Yeah. No, I've had this for a very long time. Where's the orange hat? It's uh it's sitting on my dresser right now. Yeah, you got you're rocking the big Ben. Yeah, the we'll big break ben it still up. city, baby. We'll break you go get the orange hat actually. Next week, dude. I'll break it out of retirement. Okay. To, Good. to respect for Ben Roethlisberger, I wear the Steel City. Okay. Did he, I didn't watch the game last night. Did he look extra slow for everyone? Oh my god, I was telling him this before. He looks terrible. <laughs> he honestly looks like just an old man. Like he was shuffling his feet, like getting off the field, and it looked like he just had poo in his pants. I was like, I've seen that walk before. I, mean, I guess I'm happy for him that they, that he won the last game in Heinz Field, but he's he's got to go. Oh yeah, he's he's done. Najee Harris though, the future. Yeah, Could Got him right start almost 200 yards on the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. That last that last run definitely clinched a lot of people of their their fantasy football leagues. Yeah, yeah average sure time touchdown. You played him in the third place game. Did I? I didn't even look. <laughs> I honestly didn't even. You venmoed me. I thought I won. No, you had most points on the season, but then you played Gal in the third place game. Did I lose because of that? Uh, I don't know if it was because of that, but you lost by like 15 and Najee had like 25 points. Yeah, give Nick Chubb the ball. <laughs> Not. What the fuck? Does Kevin Stefanski hate Nick Chubb? I don't know what to tell you. Guy, guy hates Chubbs. Max, Max what did you do on uh, New Year's though? Not a, I stayed in. Oh yeah, watched yeah I guess you of, didn't uh, have a choice. Watched a bunch of Succession, and uh, I, I was in bed before midnight. It was my my kind Beautiful. of New Year. Actually. That sounds like my kind of New Year. I haven't been in bed. I've and I I hear people say or tell stories how they go to bed before midnight all the time on New Year's. It sounds nice actually. You wake up yeah. and it's like, oh, I'm not hungover. It's extremely underrated. Oh man, I had the worst hangover. I woke up and I like almost couldn't open my mouth. It was so dry. I was like, <laughs> I was like, where, worst. where am I? <laughs> it was did you the feel? Uh, did you feel thirty eight? No, I felt like fifty eight. Felt eighty three. Yeah, that was that was me trying to transition into number thirty eight. Yeah, I can't imagine. I definitely won't be doing this when I'm thirty eight. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> I'll be doing it when I'm twenty eight. Can't do it. All right, let's let's rip into the 38s. I'll let you start because I've All got right. a lot. I'm starting with a slam dunk. <clears throat> okay. Carlos Zambrano. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's who I was going with. That was going to be my number one pick. If, uh, if, that, if that's a score at the dunk contest, everyone's holding up tens. Yeah. No, for sure. That's a good one. I'm going to go with a Blackhawk. Cristobal Huey. Nice. Okay. Ty didn't like that one. Why? I just... Uh, he just gave us a head nod. 
I, I don't know. Like a, that that's I've disgusted, that confused, <laughs> have none. He goes, I just, uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've never heard that name in my life. Have you heard Brian Bickle? That one I have, yes. All right. So there's another number 38 from the Blackhawks. He was number 29. It says he was number 38 in 07, 08. You, you find me one picture of Brian Bickle wearing a number 38 jersey. I'm going to find it right now. That's Stanley poppy. Cup champion, dude. That's poppycock. Um, in 2004, the Sox had a guy, number 38. His name was Michael Jackson. I've never heard of him. Not this one, at least. Seems pretty fun. While Max is looking that up, I'm going to go another White Sox. Uh, middle infielder, Pablo Ozuna. Max. Pablo Ozuna. I can't even picture who that is. <laughs> I just picture him as uh, Juan Uribe 2.0, probably with a huge slong. Yeah, he sounds like a middle infielder for sure. You say Pablo, I think Sanchez. Yeah. Sounds like he made his bread with the glove. Yeah. With the rawhide. All right. Are you going to you gonna name another 38, or am I just going to keep ripping him off here? I think, I think I found a picture of Vic in the 38 jersey. Okay, well, I'm going to go number 38, <laughs> Adrian Amos. Nice. Good pick. That, that was my Bears pick, too. How about their uh, current safety? Sean Gibson? Yeah, to Sean Gibson, yep. <laughs> Do you remember Daniel Manning? Yeah, him and Ricky Manning Jr. Not related, right? No. Distant cousins of the Peyton and Eli family? Ironically, Peyton beat them in the Super Bowl. The Manning Bowl. Ironic. Uh, Max, you got to give us a... I'll close it out with... Bowls. Uh, how about we just close it with Mike Montgomery? <laughs> Fuck the Bulls. <laughs> the Bulls have had 138 in their history. Who? Victor Criapa. My guy, dude. That sounds exactly like you should say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it's pronounced. Victor Criapa. Yep. And that's exactly who I want to be 38 for the Bulls. Well, speaking of the Bulls, let's dive it right in. Let's talk Bulls. We're going streaking, baby. We're going streaking. How many in a row is that? Is that that's like eight, right? That is eight. Magic eight ball. So get. I mean, did you first place in the Eastern Conference? Yeah, first place in the East feels so good. Twenty five and ten, not a big deal. Uh, so did you know before the New Year's Eve buzzer beater that Demar Derozan never had a buzzer beater in his career? No, I did not know that. So he never had a buzzer beater in his career, then was the first player in NBA history to have buzzer beaters on back-to-back days. Not back-to-back games specifically, back-to-back days. Yeah. And he did it in two different years. Absolutely. That's a, that's, that's a great point. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, we're, I know. We're, we're living in the twilight zone. At the weed point. pen's working extra hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's smoke coming out of that thing. It was, I mean, the first one, I'm gonna, so I'm going to go through the first one. It was, where I think they were down one or two. Yep. It was with like two seconds left. He's just like, it looked like he was trying to set up a play that wasn't going to happen. Then he just like takes a step back. They were definitely yeah. down one in the first one. And it seemed they're, like they were down one. Yeah. It seemed like he was the only guy on the court that didn't really know how much time was left. Right. It was like, like dude, was you got to make him. a move here. Right. Everyone's looking at him like, dude, either pass, like do something. And then he just kind of fires up that shot off one leg and it's. Ice. It's just money. Yeah. It wasn't even like it rimmed around or it went like, oh, no. It just lit the net on fire. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I love the celebration too. It's that it's that same D Rose hit it, hit a buzzer beater and just thug just it out. Go, go numb, basically. Mean mug it. Yeah. Yeah. Like he, everyone, everyone's just kind of pushing him around the court and he's letting them. He, his body weight is just moving with the crowd. It was yeah, gravity had him. Yes. It's got moves like a waterbed. Sounds and like then, tie on a Saturday night. Grab he has on it. <laughs> Handle the floor. It's, he just goes with the flow. With the hot dogs. And then on Saturday, yeah. Were they, were they down two in that game then? They were down two in that game, yeah. And he was in the corner, threw a nice little pump fake. He had at least two guys on him. I think Maybe he threw there was at least game. three pump fakes. Yeah. And then he just buries one in the corner. That's the I don't know. After three pumps, Ty's done. I take <laughs> Hot take, DeRozan, a pump and dump guy. That's all there is to it. <laughs> he literally pumped three times, and then he dumped one right in the hoop. That's why they call, <laughs> me, that's why they call me DeMar DeRozan in the show. Again, that sounds like Ty on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
There is a legitimate case for him to be the MVP right now. What's he averaging right now? I think he's averaging around 29. He was the Eastern Conference Player of the Month for December. I think I don't know if it was, he's averaging 29 for the year or he just averaged 29 for December. I think it's but, like, yeah, it's somewhere around there. It's between 27 and 29 in the season. I know we mentioned it a little bit last pod, but you're right. I think he's he's got to be right up there. I mean, where would the most who would be the there? MVP right now? I don't know. I mean, I guess there's probably a case for Giannis. It's not going to be LeBron with how the Lakers are playing. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. And another – again, I know we talked about this again last week, but Russell Westbrook is so fucking bad. Yeah, he's I the can't get over, I can't get over it. It's, like, mind-boggling how bad he's he is. He's the anti-MVP. He's the anti-Christ, for Christ's sake. <laughs> it's it's actually unreal. I The Bulls need to get more pub, though. I feel like everyone's talking about the Lakers and what's wrong with the Lakers. How are they going to fix it? What are they going to do? No one's talking about the Bulls being 15 games over and being the one seed right now. Like the Bulls elevated to the most exciting team in Chicago so quickly. It was like you blink an eye. It was an overnight kind of type situation. Like all of a sudden they're, they're a title contender. And I don't think anyone really knows how, how it happened. So I, I what do you think their ceiling is right now? June 4 or January 4th, 930 PM. What is their ceiling this year? I think they can legitimately win the finals. Come on. They can win they, the NBA finals. You think they can compete with the Nets and the Bucks in the playoffs in a seven-game series? I do. If they have a fully healthy team, it's going to be really hard. To beat who's them. stopping Giannis? Or, and then who's stopping uh, KD? Um, COVID? Well, hopefully they'll have Patrick Williams back <laughs> for the playoffs. What's his deal? Once he uh, – I know he hurt. He had wrist surgery at the beginning of the season, but yeah, I don't. I saw him recently at a at a women's basketball game, and he still had a big ass cast on his wrist. Oh, that's that's but no. <laughs> they're, that's they're, that's the hard hitting facts we need to know. What are you doing <laughs> at a women's basketball game somewhere, and he's there, just watching? <laughs> their stuff. their expectation is that he's that they, they, that's what they thought from the beginning is that he wasn't going to be back until the playoffs anyway. But I mean, yeah, fair. He would point. be the perfect. He would be the perfect guy for that, though. Don't you think? And, yeah, definitely. Can who who's going to stop one or two guys? That's fine. The Bulls are the arguably like the deepest team in the NBA. So even if you lock down like Levine, they have like four or five other guys that can light you up. So, Mac McClung, baby. Except him. Everyone but him. Except who? Mac <laughs> McClung, dude's a baller. Yeah, I mean, I don't. That's the guy from Texas Tech. Why do you like yeah. him so much? He's he's, he's literally <laughs> he's like the fifteenth guy on the end of the bench. He doesn't even, he has <laughs> they don't even get, give him a full seat. He's like cheeking one. It's an underdog scored, story. They, they signed him to like a minimum contract. He scored his first points, and it was like a big celebration. There's fans that sit closer to Billy Donovan than Mac McClellan. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I like. I mean, I always say it. I'm not a huge Bulls guy, but they're they're bringing the heat right now. I think they're yeah, fun to watch. Yeah. Look, I, I tuned into the game yesterday against the the Magic. Granted, I bet them, so it, that helped. But I said it last week. But the key to their success is that they don't have. It feels like their their guys don't have a selfish bone in their body. Like they don't care how they win. They just want to win. It's not like one guy needs to get his thirty every night. Like that's, and I think that's huge. It's not something you see in the NBA very often. Wait, hold on one second here. Hot take. Everybody, every NBA player is selfish, except for the Bulls roster. <laughs> Say that again. I said hot take. Every NBA player is selfish, except for the Bulls roster. I don't doubt it. I hate the NBA, but I don't mind watching the Bulls. They're, they, You know what? They, they kind of, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like they kind of have a college basketball feel, college yeah. basketball vibe in the sense that they, they have that energy and they play that team basketball at a higher rate stop yeah, fucking I, yawning i could get behind it. <laughs> help it dude you're making they, me yawn. they they almost have like an old school style of play too because they're they're not like today's nba is all about knocking down threes and they're they don't care like they'll take what the defense gives them. They, like the rosen shoots from the elbow or just inside the three-point line all the time like points are points points <laughs> people forget that points are points <laughs> talk about a hot take and you want to know how the, the Bulls are taking the city by storm is that we started with them and not even the Bears. And I don't yeah. give a fuck that the Bears are 6-10. and 10. Anytime you start to show with the Bulls over the Bears, you got to be doing something right. That's what I'm saying. Right? I mean, come on. Come on. 
Yeah, man. Well, speaking of the Bears, let's let's dive right into that because I don't care. I love winning. I told you that last week. I love to fucking win. That was such an ugly game. Such a that might have been the most boring twenty nine to three game I've ever witnessed in my life. I mean, their defense looked good. I mean, it's hard not to look good when you're playing oh, against oh. Mike Lennon. Did they? <laughs> did the defense look good, or did Mike Lennon just look atrocious? Yeah, it might have been a mirage. It's actually pretty wild, though, that Robert Quinn, uh, so he set the record for the Bears sacks in that game, right? Single season sack record, yeah. It was, what, 18? Mm-hmm. He, did, he set the single season record for, was it the Colts that he played for? No, the Rams. Rams. So he set the single season record for the Rams and the Bears. Sack Mike Lennon on the record-setting sack both, both times. I know. What it's are crazy. the odds of that? Not hilarious. Yeah, I know. I saw. I think Chris Long tweeted that out. That's. I mean, the odds of that are like astronomical. Low. They're low. Well, they're oh, they're, but, they're as low as Mike Mike Lennon's neck is long. I was just gonna say, when you got a neck like that, the odds had to have gone up at least a little. Do you think uh, Ryan Pace should be fired for signing Mike Lennon to that contract? <laughs> they, they, uh, I was gonna say Jerry alone, Angelo. They don't. They don't even need to do any more research. They could just say. This is why you're fired. We'll leave it at You that. signed that guy. I know we just beat the fuck out of him, but you signed that guy. <laughs> like, here's your, here's your green slip. Get the fuck out the door. So, and they have, they've officially announced that they're parting ways with Matt Nagy. This off season, right? Or there's like actual reports of that now. I mean, the Bears haven't officially announced it, but it's, you know, the big wig chef there in Rappaport. They said it's all but done. Yeah. It's basically a done deal at this point. So, I feel good. I can I can sleep easy at night hearing that. Kind if he difference. wasn't gone at the end of the season, like what kind of shit storm would Chicago have? Uh, I think you, people would legitimately start switching fan bases, like to different teams. You think so? <laughs> and that's There's actually I've seen I've seen people calling for an AFC team in Chicago on Twitter, which would be pretty interesting. <laughs> what part of Twitter are you on? <laughs> I haven't seen AFC it Twitter. The dark web. He's on. He's on Steelers Twitter. <laughs> You're on the dark web. Yeah. Seriously. Well, I feel speak- like Chicago can't support another football team, though. Where would they play? If the Wrigley. Bears can move to Arlington Heights, you could play anywhere. If the Bears got had another football, or if yeah, or not the Bears. If Chicago adopted another football team, would you root for them over the Bears? Mm, I mean. Depends who's on that team. Yeah. <laughs> you just go play in Bourbon A. Bourbon A. Isn't that where they used to fucking practice at? Yeah, but yeah, but that's so a... that's like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's no a terrible shit. idea. <laughs> it's a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's the idea. It's a terrible <laughs> one. Listen, you sit there in that white room. <laughs> hey, this is a glacial ice, if you don't fucking mind. I'll give you a glacial ice. Well, speaking of coaches, there was a uh, there was a report today that Jim Harbaugh might be tempted to leave Michigan to make a an NFL return. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. So, okay, I threw that out there, and I just asked, would you want Harbaugh coaching the Bears? I, I feel thought, like that's but, going back in time. Okay, but hold on, I thought this would be, I thought more people would say yes. Fuck yeah! Are you kidding me? He brought the Niners to the Super Bowl with Kaepernick. He brought them to three NFC Championship games. I mean, he, not to say that he's he hasn't really done much at Michigan, if anything. He took him to one college football playoff and got pumped. But, I mean, he's not a bad coach. He's been in the NFL. He was a Chicago Bear. Like, is it, am I crazy to think that that's not a smart choice? So what, what kind of action did you get on that poll? I didn't do a poll. I just oh. – let's see. Pete Berg, no. Hashtag fire Nagy said, hell no. Pedro Rosales for the people say oh, he said for the people saying no why but yeah a lot of people are saying no yeah I mean, nah bro hell to the no you make some fair points but at the same time I just I think there's more attractive options out there like who um I don't know I would just prefer I feel like I would prefer the offensive minded head coach that I don't know like the Brandon Staley kind of guy who's into analytics and is just did you say offensive minded? Yeah. And then you said Brandon Staley. <laughs> yeah, I know he was a D coordinator, but still. <laughs> like he's clearly doing he's doing something right with Herbert. 
and it's not a, no I, I know what you're saying though like you know I don't want like a guy like Todd Bowles or uh like Dennis Allen one of, like a defensive coordinator that's yeah or Vic Fangio who's been a lifelong coordinator who's going to play a kind of an older school style of football yeah I want somebody who's just walking in with his nuts in a wheelbarrow exactly that's you right through the front doors of Hales Hall you said it perfectly I mean I don't know how else to say that but for lack of a better phrase. And I think, to be honest, I think Harbaugh is that guy. I think Harbaugh walks in with wheelbarrows, with nuts in his wheelbarrow. <laughs> Harbaugh walks in with a wheelbarrow one way or the other. <laughs> and that's a fact. Nuts on the ground, just <laughs> just dragging a wheelbarrow. You said that with an incredibly straight face, and I I applaud you for that. <laughs> I mean, I, I love the guy. I, I don't know why I'm so gung-ho on Harbaugh, but I, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. You know who uh, I was? Kruger commented on that, and he was saying that he that he was just like disgusted with this. He's absolutely disgusted with this uh, with that potential move. Yeah, I mean, I'm not completely disgusted with it. It's just like I'm like reading the comments here. It's I mean, it's literally like almost fifty fifty. People are a lot of no's. Um, I mean, and then the other the other side obviously. They're saying like if if you're saying no, why? And then people are just arguing about stupid shit. What do you like? Think I feel like the Bears to? could do a lot. Like this guy's at least proven. We do want to go get another like offensive guru, offensive coordinator who's never been a head coach who was Matt Nagy 2.0. Like, give me someone who's established. Give me somebody who's been in the NFL. Yeah, I, I don't know. want. I'd rather have Harbaugh over Ryan Day. So Harbaugh is the guy you want working with Justin Fields. I'm not saying. I mean. No, my guy, I'm telling you, my guy right now, Greg Roman. I know, and I know I just said that's like Matt Nagy 2.0, but he's he, it's different because he's he's from the Harbaugh coaching tree. He was Harbaugh's OC in San Francisco. But it's when Nagy was an offensive coordinator, their, their offense wasn't great. And it was more so Andy Reid that was, he only called plays. Now for, he's John Harbaugh's OC. What did I say? Oh, yeah. Now he's, yeah. There you go. When Nagy was the OC in, in uh, Kansas City, he only called plays for less than half a season. Roman's Greg Roman's been doing this for years now. Yeah. Right? I mean, he's he designed that whole offense around Lamar Jackson in 2018, 2019. And did he win the MVP in 2019, or was it last year he won the MVP? No, it was 19. I mean, so I'm, I'm going to say that's an exception. He's also a guy that has uh, his, his nuts in a wheelbarrow. Yeah. We're going to yeah. need to Photoshop an image of John Harbaugh with his nuts in a wheelbarrow walking in the hell. I still think Dable is a decent choice, but like you said, he's kind of a question. Mark I think he's, I think he's too close to the, he's too similar to Nagy. And that's not to say that he, he won't be a successful head coach. I just don't think he's, he's what the bears need right now, but though he would fit, he fits the, the criteria physically. I will say this. I feel like the McCaskies would just eat up a guy. Like they would just love, the idea of having Jim Harbaugh be the coach of the Bears. I mean, what's not to love? Like it just, it just would fit in their mind. I'm sure. Can you see this? We'll just Photoshop his head on that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stan Marsh from South Park. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I've already thought this through. <laughs> Stan Darsh. I mean, I don't know. I I'll tell you. What talk I want, about this. I want, I want a guy like I want a guy like Matt Lafleur. I want a guy like Sean McVay. I want a guy like. Kyle Shanahan, Brandon Staley. I want a young guy who's in tune with like the new aspects of the game, basically. See, but I almost think that's, I mean, do you think Harbaugh is not in tune with the new aspects of the game? I mean, for fuck's sake, he's coaching college right now. Yeah. Mm. I mean, what new aspects are you saying? Like analytics? Yeah. Like going I mean, forward that- on fourth down? He goes forward on fourth down all the time. I'm telling you, he's got wheelbarrow nuts. <laughs> I don't know. It's something about him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's his face or what. I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I saw a younger picture of him when he was the Bears quarterback. He was hot as shit. You kidding me? He, fit, <laughs> he fits you're, the bill. You're dead set on Harbaugh. I'm not dead set on Harbaugh, but I'm. most of my eggs are in that bas- are in that wheelbarrow. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know I about you, but in that wheelbarrow. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have to get some uh, after next week when they 
for next week up next week's episode. Maybe we could have your boy Dan Vasco on. Maybe he can bring some Bears knowledge. I know he's a Steelers guy, but he's all I know is the Bears are now. last in the NFL in passing yards, and that's going to have to change next season. <laughs> so I have a couple uh, Bears stats that are going to make you want to puke here. You ready? So this is during the Matt Nagy era. During non-playoff or versus non-playoff teams, so teams, and I'm counting this year as well like for teams that uh, what was the one team that is still iffy? I guess I counted the Raiders as a playoff team because they're they'd be in the playoffs right now. So, but again, over Nagy's career, te- non-playoff teams, Nagy's 27 and 12, they're averaging 23.9 points a game, which is still like very middle of the pack, right? Against teams that made the playoffs that year, Nagy's seven and 18, averaging 17.2 points per game. That's atrocious. That's horrible. Here, Puke. Here's, Puke here's, worthy. That is, you know, that's poop worthy. And here's, this is another one that's just absolutely disgusting. So in the last decade, and this is more than just Nagy, but obviously Nagy's been here for uh, 40%. Games in which quarterbacks have thrown, a single quarterback has thrown four passing touchdowns in a single game. Only one team has less than the Bears. The Jets have two, and the Bears have three games. <laughs> Compare that to the Packers, where Aaron Rodgers and our Matt Flynn did it once, but Aaron Rodgers has done it 26 times. He's run at least four touchdowns in a game. Wish I mean, you would just stop. Shut your mouth. Shut up. Sh- sh- shut your mouth. All right. There, here's here's your, my last trivia question for you. Can you name the last Bears quarterback to at least throw four touchdowns in a game? Had to be Big color. Day, right? Who? Jay? Mishy touchdowns, baby. Uh, six. Oh, yeah. I yeah. knew it right away. You know what? I saw your tweet about it, too, and I, I read the six touchdowns, and I didn't even – I still said – You didn't do your homework? No. Yeah, no I, I never know. did. That's my biggest I problem. The reading card. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's, that's just atrocious. Actually, the, that's funny. The Bears had four passing touchdowns in a game last year. Can you – and but it was with two quarterbacks. It was the Falcons game where it falls through three and Mitch threw one. You remember that? I do. For the sake, it doesn't count. It was a weird uh, game. Yeah. That was the game where it was right. He it was basically Mitch, where Mitch got, Mitch got benched. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. What can I say? Um. All right. What do we got here? You want to go to uh, picks? Yeah, let's do it. You want to do on this day or no? Oh, yeah. Here, we, let's do a few on this days here. Let's see. Let me scroll down really quick. Um, Actually, to be honest, I think <laughs> the only good on this day that I had from the past week here was uh, on December 28th, 2009, the Monday night game, Bears-Vikings. The Bears beat the Vikings in overtime. Devin Aroma should have had a fucking monster game, 150 yards and a game-winning touchdown, like a 50-yarder. So the Bears beat the Vikings that game and the, knocked the Vikings out of the one seed. And if you recall, the Vikings lost in the NFC Championship game in New Orleans in overtime. Don't you? I mean, little uh, would it be butterfly effect there? If the Bears don't win that game, you think the Vikings get to the Super Bowl? That was yes. a big barf. Absolutely. <laughs> it's just crazy the thing, like how how that can change everything. I don't know what their records were before that, or before the game started and after, or how many games they were up, but it's still crazy. Yeah, that is wild. I always forget Brett Favre played for the Vikings. <clears throat> Brett Favre tries to forget too. It's <laughs> like it's like I always forget that MJ played for the Wizards. Circa 03. 02, 03, yeah. Crazy. But shout out Devin Aroma should do. What a guy. Whatever when, five times fast. Remember when there was a, a time where everyone thought he was like their big ticket receiver. He was the big ticket receiver. <laughs> like everyone thought he was like Brandon Marshall. I don't know about that. He wasn't. All right. Now let's get to uh that was honestly the only one I had <laughs> for this week. It's kind of a slow week here. I'll have I'll have more next week, I promise. Happy birthday, KB though. Yeah, happy birthday, KB and uh mute. New Cody Parkey on Twitter on uh, June January six here. It's gonna be a rough day. You're gonna see that everywhere. I just want to pre warn you. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get into some gambling picks here. So last week I went three and two. Max went two two and one, and Ty went 
a putrid one and four, just absolutely disgusting. I really, really just choking. I don't think I can look to the finish line. There. So the updated standings now are I'm I'm far in the lead, 28 and 19. Ty's in second, he's 24 and 23. And Max is a game and a half behind him at 22, 24, and one. Max went two, two, and one with a push, push dog. So, Max, you're still in last. I know you've been bringing up the caboose all season. Kick us off. What do you got? All right. So, we're going to go favorites first, huh? Yeah. I'm going Chiefs minus 10 on Saturday. Need a win playing the Broncos. Give me it. Are they in Arrowhead or are they? Pretty sure it's in Denver, I believe. It's in Denver. Okay. There you go. Uh, this one's going to make some listeners a little upset. Probably I got Vikings minus two and a half against the bears. Dumb. Think so. Why would he say that? (laughs) No, it's probably not a bad pick, especially if cousins plays. All right. Well, I'm going right back at you, Ty. I'm going Ravens minus five and a half against the Steelers. You would say that Psalm's favorite team, the Ravens. (laughs) You would say that. What? I'm, I'm still mad yesterday that. Uh, <laughs> that the Browns didn't run the fucking ball at all. The Ravens have a terrible rush defense. I don't get it. Run yeah, the goddamn were, ball. The Steelers? And the, or pardon me, the Steelers have a terrible rush defense. Actually, I was just going to say the Ravens have a good run defense. The Ravens are going to run it right up their hoop. The Ravens have a terrible pass defense, and Big Ben cannot throw the fucking ball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Gonna, I would bet my life that the Ravens win this game. Maybe not. I don't know. I won't say cover, but I bet you anything they win. I think that's a good bet. Is you're looking for a little side action on Sunday, Kai? I'm your fucking guy. Let's throw a grand on it. Throw paychecks on it. Don't be <laughs> sorry. Hold on. I got I to gotta paint my room glacier ice real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maxie. Okay. Give, us, uh, give us your dog. Home dogs. Um, Who did I put down for the dog? I think I said. Yeah, I got the Niners plus four. Niners plus four. Yeah, playing for their lives against the Rams. There we go. All right, I'm gonna come. I think they can right. still make the playoffs, right? If winning, they're in. Yep. I'm gonna come right back and shove it down Kyle's mouth. No issue. Steelers plus five and a half. Yes, <laughs> the Ravens. Bad choice. You chose poorly. I'll take a money line if I can. You want to take a money line? <laughs> no, no, it's no, honestly no. a gross game. There's so many things wrong with both teams. Yeah, this game it's a, mm. it's ugly. Is it a three twenty? If the Ravens come out and they're all black jerseys, though, you're fucked. Yeah, I hate to say it, but I think five and a half is in fact too many points. Unless there's like some stupid turnover, like a pick six or something. That's ex- like that. and Ty. That's exactly why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> the chances of Ben throwing a pick six are like one in six. One in pick six. I'm going to go with the Dolphins plus six and a half. They have nothing to play for. They've been eliminated. Uh, they beat the the Pats earlier week one. I know so you figure they're different. saying, why not? We're here. We might as well. Might as well. I feel like everybody's picking the Pats here because the Pats need to win to have any shot of win in the division. We're here. We're queer. We're going to drink your beer. Uh, yeah, but we're all inclusive as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Dolphins plus six and a half. Give us. Oh, yeah. a I'm not a big fan of that one. I'm uh I'm gonna go <laughs> Bills Jets over forty three and a half. Ooh, you're going up forty three to three. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. The Jets have been putting points up, and they just played the box tough. I uh. I think the Bills definitely could score 30 on their own easily. Yeah, over 43 and a half. There you go. I'm going to fade Max. Bills Jets under 43 and a half. Love this. Love this. Four, you have under 43 and a half or just 43? I have 43. I was just following his lead. Okay. I'll I'll go 43 as well then. That's, that's even more for Max's favor. <laughs> I, know, that's I'm, I'm, I said it. I'm going to do... I'm going to do something I haven't done all season here, fellas. You're taking an under? Going Bears, Vikings, under 44. Wow, you sneaky bastard. Bears, I, mean, I, I thought about hitting Saints, under. Falcons, under 40, because those offenses are both anemic. <laughs> anemic? Yeah. 
What does that mean? I think it, I think you have like a low iron count in your blood or something. <laughs> this, is, this is the true definition. The true definition. Oh man, we need a word of the day. That's a new. <laughs> got to bright or brighten my vocabulary. Got to broaden my vocabulary and brighten, gotta brighten it. it too. Gotta... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, and then the the national championship game. Who we I'm got? Let Psalm go first on this one. No, Max, you go ahead, dude. It's your turn. I I would really prefer if you went. I'd really love it if you went. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. I'm taking Georgia minus three. That's what I. Wow, was do. Kyle. I'm gonna take them minus three too. Home dogs bark. Love it, dude. Oh, Kyle, you're, you're the guy that was saying bark. all week how scared you are of Nick Saban. I'm terrified. Of, I I you can name this podcast. I'm terrified of Nick Saban. I don't a care. Long title. All right. <laughs> I'm uh I'm I'm staying away from the line. I'm going over fifty two. Over that's probably a good play too. Smart play, but it'll be twenty three twenty. Yeah. I'm trying to put my Don't you worry about a thing. Barrel. Georgia over fifty two. All right, Ty, what do we got here? I said minus three, Georgia. Georgia minus three? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Kyle's going to change his answer now. <laughs> no. He will. He'll, he'll come back. He will. He does this all the time. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no <laughs> wonder he's 28 and 19. All the time. Listen, just because you guys are bringing up the rear here. <laughs> well, you know me, dude. Always bringing it up the rear. What was the bottom bumper? Or what would you say last week? <laughs> Power bottom. Power bottom. Where do you come up with this shit, dude? Bottom bumper. <laughs> Read a book, dude. I'm not reading the books you're reading. I'm not reading Read a book one those time. books. <laughs> but you're right now, any book that has bottom bumper in it, I'm not reading it. <laughs> They're more like so magazines. So I'm gets all his books from Zebulon. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what the fuck is Zebulon? <laughs> I don't know either. I have literally no <laughs> idea. Just making up words again. <laughs> um, all right. What what was the starting five? I already forgot it. Starting five, uh, road trip things. Oh, so, things you do on a road trip? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to ask for uh, one caveat here. Like, how long is the road trip? I feel like that completely depends. I'm like- going to say at least three hours. Mm, okay. Somewhere between three hours and 24 hours. Oh, Holy my God. shit. If I was in a car for 24 hours, I'd put a bullet in my mouth. Somewhere Never between- driven to Florida? Indianapolis and flying there tomorrow. Miami. Yep, exactly. And, and anywhere in between. All right. All right, rock, paper, scissors. Let's do it, boys. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's literally scissors every time. You guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are such fucking idiots. I finally caught on. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I'll let, I'll go second. Or right, I'll go last again. <laughs> All right, Max, kick it off, dude. All right. So if you're in a car full of people, I'm gonna say farting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> the number one pick. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing better than your own brand. Oh, that's yeah, the worst. You know what? I think I've taken a couple technical road trips with you to Iowa. And uh, never again will I take another one with you. If you're just going to be ripping ass intentionally, trying to kill me in the gas chamber. <laughs> I actually have a hilarious uh, story um, about a ride home from Iowa City, but we'll save that for another podcast. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with chewing seeds. Nice. I like that. What flavor seed? So any seed that ever has been. All time favorite. We're going nacho cheese. That's disgusting. No, it's the best. <laughs> I, didn't even know that, I didn't even know that was a flavor. No, Unpopular take. Like, I'm actually a big fan of dill pickle. Gross. Love dill pickle. They're disgusting. I Bill's love character. pickles, but I hate dill pickle seeds. You love dill and you love pickles. Uh, yeah. Um, but if we're talking just top three, I'm just going ranch. Yeah. Can't argue like, that. We were OGs. just talking top three. I mean, the OGs. <laughs> Um, I, I'm going to say making a uh, beforehand, and now this is beforehand, but listening to a, pl- a long playlist that you, you've you pre-made for this road trip. Okay. For this, 
and this is I'm assuming for a longer road trip, not a three hour one. Yep. Uh, so that's number one. Then, ooh, this is a good one. Uh, okay, I'll say if this, if you're with with your buddies, you're just ripping on people. You're just talking shit about people who. <laughs> That's, that's really what you can't wait for when you get in the car, huh? <laughs> Kyle starts rubbing his hands together. All right. <laughs> Pulls out a sheet. He's start been ripping working on, on people. a whole fucking hour-long roast the whole week prior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Taking notes. Um, all right, I'm going to go straight up just napping. Ah, oh, you bitch. That's a good one. I, and I have, I have a question here. I'll ask it when it's my turn. All right, two to you, Max. Um, all right, first, I'm going to go road beers. <sighs> Damn it. That was one I had. <laughs> and then, fuck, there's a lot of good ones. Um, I'm just going to say Waffle House. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Literally, anytime you're driving in the south, just every, every exit or every other exit just has Waffle House. I've only been to Waffle House once. I had uh, I had mold on my bread. <laughs> it's far for the course. Uh, and you, you should feel blessed that you've only been there once, bread, dude. <laughs> ate it. <laughs> Not hate it. Ate it. <laughs> ate it. Yeah. All right. You got one more. No, no, that was your two. That was back to me. Give me three. I'll take three. <laughs> Ty, nobody loves getting lost in the snake more than Ty. I fucking love getting lost in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go with, uh, back in the heyday when I was chewing tobacco, a fat dip for a road trip. Nice. That what? A fat dip. Not so dick, just dip. rotating between dip and seats. Literally. <laughs> my gums are just He's sleeping. My, ent- <laughs> my entire mouth is just raw. He's sleeping <laughs> with dip and seats. <laughs> Literally exactly how it goes. All right. Now, is there a difference between napping and sleeping? I know that that was my question. I know that sounds yes. so stupid. Yes. I mean, that's the exact same thing. Yeah, but if you're <laughs> napping, a nap is a, a short it's, period of time. It's like uh, if you're sleeping, you're sleeping for a longer period. Oh, it's like a thumb is a finger, but so not you all take, fingers are take thumbs. A, so every night you take a nap from like 11 to 8 a.m. or 11 to 7 a.m. No, when I'm in the car, I don't say I'm not going to sleep. Because that's what, not what if it's be a long road trip. Yeah, but if you're doing a 24 hour road trip, you're not going to sleep. There's no way I'm sleeping for more than like, you know, an hour at a time. Damn. Also with you on that. I, I don't sleep on road trips, actually. I want you to get creative. I'm not going to let you slide by just saying sleep. Well, no, no, no. no. That's fine. I was, I, I'm not even going to even use that because that's, I, I'm right there well, with What you. the just, fuck are we talking about here? I wanted, I just more so wanted to know. I was like, <laughs> hey, curiosity never <laughs> killed the cat. That's a, that's a, Urban legend. I'm going to say uh, playing a game called I Spy. <laughs> it's a great game. It is uh, a great game. <laughs> Doesn't really hold a candle to Simon Says, but it's <laughs> it's a good game. Um, oh, gee. <laughs> You're the, God damn it. You're the worst. Oh, shit. Um, all right. Let me think here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> fuck actually you know what i really was gonna go with sleep because i feel like that's i just i hate road trips so much i cannot tell you any like i think the longest road trip <laughs> i've had in the past i don't know 15 years might be five hours that i've done anything I kyle's the least favorite category i actually oh enjoy a good road trip personally because you know, like if i had to drive to nashville which is like seven hours see i wouldn't nap i'd, I'd take i would get either get high or they're getting high, you're getting high and falling you're asleep. You're a real son of a bitch. Getting high and falling asleep. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I was going to say smoking a joint, but that, yep, that's a good one. Getting high and falling asleep. There you go. I just talked myself right into it. Um, God, you're a son of a bitch. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with drinking an energy drink, even when you don't normally drink energy drinks. So the one time I'll drink an energy drink is on a road trip, especially if I have to drive. Well, Red Bull yeah. in your system. Yeah. No, that's a good one. Um, all right. I'm going to go the anticipation of getting. The impatient, uh, what? 
the anticipation of getting to to where you're going like of you getting there yeah just like the the excitement basically especially when it's iowa city for halloween circa 2011 or to sum it up the ride there because the ride back sucks Oh, so we're only talking about the ride there here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody <laughs> enjoys the ride back. Stead silence. I want the exact opposite of everything I just said. <laughs> if we're talking about the ride back. And then last thing I'll say is uh, gas station snacks. You're oh, a son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> I fucking killed this draft. God damn it. Absolutely. I murdered. fucking killed this draft. God, that was going to be my... That was my last one. I was going to say yeah, eating all the different gas station snacks. God, you're. So... I'm feeling good. Oh, I really, man. I really hate you for that. Um, Next, I feel like you always say you're feeling good. <laughs> I am. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to go with asking to stop to piss, even though you just stopped an hour ago. There's always somebody. You always yep. got one. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, yeah, especially if you're uh, doing road beers. I like yeah. that one now. I hate that one when I'm in the car with that person. All right. This is – ah, fuck it. You took my last one, but yeah, I'm going to say – Yeah, I my draft. Yeah, I do too. I'm going to say just eating at different local places to, like, specific to where you're at, like a Waffle House in the South or some – So you're honky, just taking my – Honky Tonk play. What did you say? <laughs> It's at Waffle House. I'm not saying specifically Waffle House. I'm saying eating at, I guess what's a good way local to Local food. This. Yeah. Local cuisine. Yeah, eating at local establishments. All right, that's good. You specifically said Waffle House. You can't fucking take the whole thing. I, mean, I am excited I for <laughs> you to tweet this, tweet this one out because I'm I really fucking, pr- Dude, you know what? And really there's proud usually of my one picks. person that will respond to like who did the best. It's never been me. Never been me. Well, Max is always going first. We gotta <laughs> Yeah, maybe just don't do scissors every Yeah, we time. need to switch up our scissors, our Edward's scissor hands. <laughs> Literally every week it's the same. It's you two duking it out for who's gonna go last. And it's just me giving it yeah. to him. <laughs> All right. I was gonna that say normal. Audible mentions for <laughs> the uh on the way back, just Xanax and uh, air conditioning. <laughs> air conditioning is actually a really good one. Doing doing 90 on the highway with the windows down? I would say reading a book, but I don't read. My hands are sweating. (laughs) I'm getting car sick. (laughs) What's the longest road trip you've done in the past? I'll say five years. Since we graduated college. I literally drove with my parents from here to Florida. No, like with your buddies. Like with your high school buddies. uh, buddies. Nashville. Yeah, same probably Nashville. Well, I've never been to Nashville. What's what I would fly 10 times out of 10. Good, good call. You should. The flight is incredible. I mean, it's like an hour tops, but I did drive from South Carolina 14 hours. Oh, yeah, with dips and seeds and sleep. No. None of that. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Just looked out the window with my thumb up my butt the whole time, mostly. Oh, that should have been your fifth pick. <laughs> <laughs> It's always my number one pick. Handling the ox should have been one. You know what? I always oh, feel yeah. like the uh, – what is it? I always feel whoever has the ox just plays music way too fucking loud. It's like you yeah. can't even talk. Yeah. Like, hey, can you turn it down? I want to make my 15th point in a row. And I, <laughs> I when, still you're, uh, when you're less than an hour away from your destination, like you're checking the GPS the whole time, and then you're like, holy fuck. We're less than an hour. Away. Oh, that's a good one. Constantly just looking at the GPS to see minute by minute go down. You <laughs> yeah. are now six hours and 14 minutes away. So. <laughs> yes. Not a minute closer. <laughs> I agree. I still am, I still stand by farting in the car. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, that that's a good one. I never would have picked that. But, I mean, I can't believe you wasted that for your first round pick. It doesn't feel like a waste to me. I mean, you, like you could use it as your fifth round pick. If you're just you lucky. Could, you could, you're lucky I, you're I, drafting I, with idiots. My picks are all interchangeable. You could put anything at the top and anything at the bottom at all points. So, uh, socialist. I'm going to say this. He was a friend. You should have put the farts at the bottom. <laughs> oh, man wins. People forget about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man wins. 
Low fart wins. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's wrap this up. It's getting late. What are we at time wise? Fifty minutes. Oh, kidding me? In the sweet spot. Best one yet. Great. Best one yet. Here we go. All right, have a good weekend. Have a good week. I don't know when you're hearing this, and uh, bear down. <laughs>